Greetings, friends. Today you will hear the story of two beautiful modern-day girl vampires who live their lives in their own pleasure among the New York nightlife until love meets their path and jeopardizes their immortality. Let's start watching the movie. At the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to Goldie. In 1841, the heroine was bitten by a vampire named Seer, who was able to turn his victims into his own kind. Goldie became a vegetarian in the New World and used only animals to quench her thirst. This diet allowed the heroine to socialize with people longer and even start families. Goldie survived the 20s, then the 60s and 80s, when her lady seer soon turned Stacy into a vampire. The heroine became attached to the new girl and they began living together, going to college and socializing with people. Stacy wakes up at sunset and wakes up the heroine, playing a little prank on her. Goldie starts to get ready for her evening classes and tells her friend that a friend from Boston sent her a native land. However, it turns out that the post office has seized the contents of the package, which greatly upsets Stacy. Goldie then goes down the wall with her friend and arranges to meet at work after lessons. Stacy and the heroine clear the houses of rats, using them as sustenance. Suddenly, a voice sounds in Goldie's head, calling the place where they need to go. The heroine tries to get rid of it with other thoughts, but realizes that she and Stacy are being summoned, and it's useless to resist. In a hotel room, Goldie meets with her mentor, Lady Seer or Cecilia. The woman complains that she bought a lot of outfits, but can't even look at herself in the mirror. So Cecilia asks Goldie and her friend to try on the clothes so she can admire and imagine how the dresses fit on her. Stacy criticizes the woman for wearing fur, to which the mentor laughs in response and says that the girls should have not eaten rats then. A pizza delivery man arrives at Cecilia's house for dinner. After the visit, the heroine feels disgusted and Stacy suggests relaxing. At the club, Renfield is sad that the girls won't turn him into a vampire. When Stacy leaves to dance, Goldie starts to be persistently hit on by Vadim. The guy reminds her that the heroine's diet and her desire to be a vegetarian will quickly end. After all, if something happens to Cecilia, Goldie's age will return. Vadim tries to eat a girl passing by. Goldie uses hypnosis to save her from a close encounter with the guy's teeth. The heroine notices a simpatico guy named Derek in a bar. Goldie decides to spend the evening with him. Suddenly, after a few puffs, a vessel in the drummer's nose bursts. Goldie can't help herself and tastes it, after which she runs away in a panic. The heroine tells about it to her friend, but Stacy believes that nothing terrible happened. The next day, the police find the remains of the pizza delivery man and realize that it was as if someone had sucked him dry. Dr. Van Helsing realizes he has a difficult investigation ahead of him. At the vampire meeting, Goldie talks to Vlad Tipish, one of the sires. The man says that if something happens to Cecilia, the heroine will start aging to the age she is now. Goldie gets upset and asks not to tell Stacy about it, since her friend thinks they are the same age. Soon the friend makes a sort of portrait for the heroine, as Goldie hasn't seen his own face in a long time. At college, Stacy meets Joey. A mutual sympathy develops between them, and the couple decides to have coffee together. Suddenly, Stacy hears the guy's last name, Van Helsing. The girl tells Goldie about it, and promises to be careful. In the hospital, the heroine notices a man she knew in the 80s and hides from him. Denny stops running down the hall and visits his wife. The man finds Goldie at work as well. The heroine lies that Denny knew her mother and promises to call. Stacy arrives at Joey's house, but their romantic evening is interrupted by the appearance of the boyfriend's parents. Dr. Van Helsing and his wife immediately guess who's in front of them. Over breakfast, they try to explain to their son that he needs to stay away from Stacy. Goldie is walking with a friend and reminiscing about how beautiful the world was in the 19th and 20th centuries. At the meeting, Stacy says she is being subpoenaed early in the morning. Vlad advises her to seek help from Cecilia. However, the woman is about to leave for Spain. Syria's behavior gets a lot of vampires in trouble, but she doesn't care at all. Back home, Stacy gets a call from Joey and learns that she has been invited to dinner. Meanwhile, Van Helsing destroys Cecilia's henchman. Hearing that the boyfriend's parents thought she looked a little pale, Stacy goes to extreme measures. At dinner, 
The girl notices a portrait of her acquaintance Vlad Tipish on the wall. Stacy hypnotizes Van Helsing's wife, but the man actively resists. A man gets notes from a meeting for vampires and finds his next target. Stacy and Vadim are worried about Ivan's disappearance and want to discuss it at the general meeting. At night, Goldie meets Danny, with whom she was once deeply in love. In the store, the heroine has to show her true abilities to defend herself from a robber. Danny remains conscious and remembers the incident. Goldie admits that she left because she did not want to deprive the man of his future. Danny is still shocked, but promises that he and the heroine will definitely see each other again. Back home, Goldie revisits old photos and reminisces about the past. Meanwhile, Stacy spends an unforgettable night with Joey. The guy watches in shock as his lover crawls up the wall. Stacy is nervous because the man she loves stops replying to her messages. However, in college, the girl still manages to make up with Joey. Stacy starts spending a lot of time with her boyfriend, not hiding her true identity. Goldie also finds pleasant company, talking and walking with Danny, who now knows the whole truth about her. The heroine brings the man to a general meeting, as he is a lawyer. Denny advises them not to use their mobile devices, as they can be deduced from their phones. Goldie realizes that a total eclipse is about to happen. Stacy starts to get nauseous in the morning, so the heroine buys more sterile food for her. On the day of the eclipse, the vampires go to the lawyers to erase all data about themselves from the database, and thereby secure themselves from infiltration by the authorities and government officials. In honor of the fact that Danny and Goldie's plan succeeds, a big party is thrown. The heroine dances with a man, remembering what he looked like in his youth. After the event, the satisfied friends return home when suddenly they hear Cecilia's voice calling again. Goldie and her friend find the woman in a Chinese restaurant turned into a slaughterhouse. Stacy gets very upset and hopes that it won't happen again. The heroine completely agrees with her opinion. Already in the morning, the newspapers print the news about what happened in the restaurant. Vlad thinks it's time to talk some sense into the woman, but Goldie says it's no use. The man also tells her that Stacy is pregnant. It should pass soon, unless she turns into a human. Van Helsing sees camera footage of Stacy and her friend bringing an injured Chinese man to the hospital. Goldie gets upset that things are happening and changing too fast. These thoughts lead her to the supposed whereabouts of Cecilia, who is essentially to blame for many of their troubles. Stacy learns that in order to have a baby, Cecilia must be destroyed. But then she will turn into a 40-year-old woman. Goldie, who is much older, agrees to this plan for the sake of her friend's happiness. The heroine asks Vadim for a favor. Danny doesn't want to lose his wife, so with his consent, the vampire turns her into his own kind. Stacy realizes that they can't handle Cecilia alone. Goldie then suggests delegating the task to Joey's father Van Helsing. Danny sees his rejuvenated wife and sincerely thanks her for her help and support in a difficult moment. Goldie comes to Van Helsing and tells him her plan. The man realizes that the heroine is very ancient and is willing to sacrifice herself for Stacy, Joey, and their baby. To comfort Goldie, Van Helsing finds her descendants and shows their photos, saying that among them there are many doctors and just good people. By sacrificing human life during the cholera, Goldie has enriched the world. Van Helsing and his assistants go to the tomb of Cecilia. In a complicated moment, Joey manages to destroy the woman. Cecilia's head is placed in the tomb to strip her of her powers and end it all. Stacy ages 20 years, but still remains beautiful. Joey rejoices that he will now be able to start a family with his beloved and raise a child. Goldie finally admits that she lied about her age. The heroine says she's lived enough and is tired of it, of the constant changes in technology but not in human nature. Goldie arrives downtown and admires the neon signs, remembering seeing them change over the years. The heroine admits that it was Stacy who gave her back her love of life, but now it's time to say goodbye. The girl cries as she sees Goldie crumble to dust. After a while, Stacy gives birth to a daughter, whom she names Goldie. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.